guys, this is Simsfell and welcome to episode 21 of The Sims 3 Vampire Bloodlines. In this episode, we'll be jumping into round 2 of The Shade Family. Last episode, we played all the last few episodes we've been playing with Vlad Nikolai, the leader of the Royal Coven. He managed to snag himself two girlfriends, one of which broke his heart. Um, and in this episode, we're going to be jumping back with Garrett, who is already engaged to Erica, a vampiress. And uh, hopefully we can get him to propose to her, and if things go well, even get married, so that we can get the flip and bloodlines part of this series started. Right now has been the dating and mating game. Once that is done, then we'll be able to focus on the vampires individually. Um, so hopefully you guys are okay with that. Let's jump in to this household. All right, we're gonna switch this household. Yes, yes, yes. I'm fine. We'll just continue. No need to save. We'll be fine. We will be fine. Okay, there we go. And also we get to see Honey again. So I'm very excited because we get to see Honey again. And where is Garrett? Garrett, Garrett, Garrett. Where the hell are you? Oh, you're outside. He is going off to work? What? Oh, no. He's visiting the Jones household. Why are you visiting the Jones? I have no clue, but I'm going to let him do whatever he wants to do. While he's doing that, let's have a quick look at um, his needs for one. Oh, geez. His energy is really low. Huh. I don't know why he's going to visit them, but he's apparently going to visit them. I'll let him do whatever he wants. We'll have a look at his relationship panel to see where he's at, and then also at his career panel to see if he's gotten anywhere with his career. Um, although we should have gotten notifications if anything drastic did happen. What does he want to do? Brood for three hours uh, and learn bot building skill. We'll pop those in, even though we might not get to focus on it just yet. In terms of his career, he is... Level 2 Journalism. I don't think he's leveled up since the last time we played him, which is absolutely fine. I'm okay with that. In terms of relationships, I am proud of him. He is still engaged to Erica Talon, which is amazing because NRAS does some pretty funky things. Um, and he is actually friends with Tiara Shadow, which is interesting. Um, and he's maintained friendships with Vlad and Matthew Hamming, which is great. He's got so many old friends. And with Renee Fresco, also with Duncan Lenz, which I'm very glad about. And I do want him pretty soon to throw a gathering party. Actually, you know what? He needs to have a bachelor party anyways. He needs to have a bachelor party anyways. So we might throw that and he'll invite Vlad and Duncan and hopefully rekindle their friendship a little bit. And things will be fine, but he is returning back home. I don't even know what he did at the Jones household. He just wasted time going there and now he's back. But okay, let's see my adorable little honey okay honey is sleeping oh honey hello honey look at honey isn't she cute this black and white cat is adorable look at her white mustache ah oh, so cute but honey's sleeping in her little cat condo which i am happy for her to do he is filling up the cat bowl a nice job i'm glad he did that because i was going to do that anyways and guys, I think what I'm going to do with him right now, hasn't been that long, get his needs up and I will be back with you guys when he's feeling a little bit better. And look, he's about to go to bed anyway, so I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, we are back. It is almost 1pm on a Sunday and uh, Garrett's out here, I don't know, he was sitting down in the, lo in the lobby just thinking about the wholeness of life. And now he's interacting with Honey. So that's good. Be sniffed by Honey. Oh, okay, there's an upcoming party. Well, we actually don't mind. But no, we're going to say no. We're going to say no because Garrett actually wants to throw a bachelor party with his boys. Also, something surprising happened while Garrett was sleeping. So not too long after he went to sleep, there were a few rumors floating around town. And he's a celebrity, so he has a lot of them. And probably, in all honesty, I feel like he didn't hear it through a rumor, but Vlad probably called him to tell him this. But Vlad proposed to Lily Bo. Look at that. Can you see that? They have a ring. They have a ring next to Lily Bo's name. They're officially engaged. So that was crazy because unless I'm forgetting something super serious, when I left Vlad, he um, asked her out. So he asked her to be his girlfriend, but that was it. I do not remember proposing to her. But at least they've done that milestone on their own, which is quite exciting in all honesty. But I'm excited to see where that goes. And I think Garrett is in good spirits. He's in high spirits. He wants to throw a party somewhere. Probably at a bar because it is not too late yet. So not a lot of places would be open. So we'll see where he ends up going. Most likely to a bar. 
Although, lounges might be open. Some of the uh, lounges might be open because it is 2 p.m. and I think they open around this time. I don't know, we'll see. But he wants to throw a party of some sort. Now, does it tell you the times are open? I don't know if it does. But you know where we're gonna go? What's this, the grind. No, I think we're gonna go to Wayland's Haunt because that is quite close by and it makes sense. We're gonna have a bachelor party, guys, at Wayland's Haunt. And I think he has money to um, rent that out, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna have a bachelor party. There we go. A bachelor party, dress to impress, yes. We're gonna invite the important folks, like, where are they? Lance, Duncan Lance, and Vlad Nikolai, yes, thank you. Oh, he knows, he knows Don Page. And who the hell is this? Why does she have the name Paige? Like, who is she? I'm so confused. Is she married to one of the Paige brothers or is she married to Mel? I'm so curious now. Okay, uh, Lily Bow, we definitely want to invite because, uh, actually, do we? Do we want to invite Lily Bow? I don't know. We might not invite Lily Bow. Let's see who, uh, okay, do we have any male friends? Um, Matthew Hamming, he's another celebrity, so why not? We'll invite him. Am I missing out? No. Tiara. We don't want to invite Erica. No, I don't think she's invited to the bachelor party. Okay, who else? Let's just get a bunch of random friends. Random folks we know that I actually know. Raphael, we know him. So we're going to invite Raphael. Uh, I can storm. I definitely want him to attend. Um... Who else? I don't know who the hell Bust Around is, so we're gonna skip him. Harry Mox! <laughs> Why not? <laughs> we're gonna invite him. That might, uh, that might be some interesting uh, people because Harry Mox is actually the ex-husband of Vlad's current fiance, which is slightly awkward, but hey, we're gonna invite Bronson Littler. He's, I think, Vlad's friend, if I remember correctly. Um, his new flame. Or oh, someone, he's kind of like the new Raphael. He has a crush on Vlad at this stage. Um, Ahmed Klein, we've seen him around, so I know who he is. Um, Jeffrey Cook, I have heard of him, but I don't really know him too well. So I think we're going to stick with the guys we have right now. And yeah, there we go. We're going to host a bachelor party. We're probably going to have a bunch of other people we know show up there anyways. So, okay, we're going to make our way over to Wayland's Haunt and see what is happening over there. Oh, how exciting. How exciting. Garrett Shade wants to have a last wild night of freedom before his wedding and is throwing a bachelor party. So this is exciting. Ah, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. And he does have a lot more money than Vlad. To be honest, I'm less worried about Garrett because he's got life a little bit more sorted out. I mean, Vlad, in all honesty, he could have chosen sculpting. He could have chosen inventing. He chose to become a photographer, of all things, which is so difficult to get by with. But, oh, he's playing with honey. I feel like we don't spend enough time with honey, guys. Do you guys feel the same? I press. oh, jeez, I thought someone ran honey over. It was the ice cream truck. But I, I feel like we don't spend enough time with her, which makes me kind of sad. But I'm glad that they're spending some time together right now. How old is Honey, by the way? Honey has 13 days until becoming an elder. So we have some time with her. We have time with her, which makes me really happy. Yeah, we have time with Honey. Where is he going? Okay, he's making his way over to Wayland's Haunt right now. Uh, to be there before the party starts. And I don't remember what time I said for the party to start. Maybe it was 5? 5? 5? Actually, no, you need... Okay, go to Wayland's Haunt. Go to Wayland's Haunt, please. Um, visit Wayland's Haunt. Huh. Okay. Yeah, I don't remember what time I said for the party to start. I guess we'll find out when the guests start coming. Oh, okay then. I guess we made the party start at 4, probably. The first guest has arrived. We're not even there yet, so whoopsies. Who's driving? Is this Dawn? Look at that, guys. Dawn is a taxi driver. Interesting, interesting. That is most definitely Dawn. Okay. Well, we're gonna go ahead and make our way inside. We haven't been to this place in a while. So here we go. Okay. We've made our way over to the dive bar. We have Matilda Rake over here. Duncan's coming in. What the hell is he wearing? 
Duncan, my boy, what are you wearing? Oh, this is great. This is great. We have Merlin over here on the drums. He's the musician at the bar. Oh, that is so cool. Okay, who else do we have? We don't know her. Um, Vlad's making his way here. And to be honest, Vlad looks quite snazzy, in my opinion. His, what is he wearing? That's so unique. I love it, though. Vlad. Oh, this is so much noise. But look at Vlad. He looks so flippin' cool with whatever the hell he's wearing. I can't get a good look at what... He looks so cool. Look at that. Oh, he looks so good. <laughs> I don't know what Duncan's wearing, though. Duncan, you look atrocious. Just want to let you know. Okay, we need to get these guys talking. Duncan, let's greet. Let's greet Vlad. Um, where's Vlad? I'm going to form group. Form group. And uh, try and speak to them. Oh, did we not greet? I was trying to greet Duncan. Okay, who's going to make the toast? Who is he closer to? He's actually closer to Vlad than he is to Duncan. So I think he's going to ask Duncan to make a toast. Not Duncan, jeez. Vlad to make a toast for his bachelor party. Yeah, there we go. That's pretty cool. The music is so loud. I would love to zoom in, but that's going to make the music louder. So I don't want to do that. Okay, that's pretty cool. Oh, he's chatting to Vlad. That makes me happy. He's getting uh, oh, a text from Chris, Chrisita Hotley. Probably because we didn't go over to his, um, whatchamacallit, I mean her party. But I'm sorry, we're having a bachelor party. This is way more important than attending your party. What the hell is Duncan wearing? <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. It looks as though... He's definitely been influenced by whoever he's dating, which I don't know if that's good. Betty Weil. Is she the potty dancer? Okay, this is the potty dancer, guys. Okay. We, well, we have the potty dancer. It's quite interesting. W what's happening? Are they, are they affronted by her? Vlad's like, nope. Oh no, maybe he's like, he can't reach her because he can't see her. I don't know. This is hilarious though. Did you ask Vlad to make a toast? Ask Vlad to make a toast. Go. And this is great because it's like cheap drinks, happy hour. So that works out for us. Okay, Vlad, do you want to make a toast for us? Please. Okay, there we go. He's happy to make a toast. Aw, that's nice. <laughs> They're listening to his toast. Oh, I love this. <laughs> Look at him. Oh, I'm so happy. And it, it's actually fitting that you get the leader of the royal coven to make the toast if you get married. That makes sense. Oh, he's getting sprayed with fizzy nectar. Yeah, that makes sense to me that you would get the leader to do that. Aww. Oh, that's great. We'll spray him with Fizzy Nectar and we'll go and spray Duncan with Fizzy Nectar as well. <laughs> okay, looks like they're having fun. I'm glad they're having fun, to be honest. Okay, go go talk a little bit to Duncan. I feel like Duncan is... Duncan is so antisocial. It is crazy. He is so... For someone who wants to be friends with a lot of people, he is so antisocial. Do, do you guys notice that? And Vlad's supposed to be the loner, but he's actually doing a lot better. <laughs> oh, goodness. He is such a crazy person. I mean, look at what he's wearing. Who the hell wears this? I don't know. Okay. You have work soon. Well, I'm glad we held the bachelor party a little bit earlier. Vlad's off, unfortunately. He has to go to work, darn it. You have open hours. What are you doing? Well, apparently he has work. I guess there's a gig he has to go to to take some photos. That's fine with us. We're going to try becoming friends, uh, uh, listening to Duncan's story. He probably has some crazy stuff he needs to tell us. Um, let's compliment your dancing. Yeah, really great. Okay, party dancer time is over, but I don't think it's time to clean up yet. This party is really going now. I might hang out, hang around for a minute or two. Yeah, that's fine. You can hang out, Betty Wild. Uh, 
I don't know how interested we are in you, but you can definitely hang out. That is fine. That is fine and well. Okay, I think Garrett's gonna just go for a little bit and refresh himself. And then he's gonna have a plasma fruit. There we go. That's gonna help him out a little bit. But oh, look at that. Oh, he's an attractive company. Okay. I guess he finds her attractive. Then again, I feel like they always find the potty dancers really attractive. Uh, get in a bob roll. <laughs> what? Okay, Covenant Nectar, by golly, this could be any more fun, but protect the eyes, this stuff stings. And then we have Sweet Venue Party. Okay, wonderful. So the Bachelor Party is actually going pretty well, which I'm very happy about. I am very happy about that. And watch, he is going to just have his plasma fruit right in the bathrooms. In this disgusting bathroom. Oh, that is so disgusting. Do you guys see that? Do you see this? Ew, look at that. <laughs> That's disgusting. He used the urinal, and it just overflowed. And now that's probably his urine there, and it's, it's been dripping on the floor. Oh, that's disgusting, but what better way to have a bachelor party? <laughs> ah. Okay, what the hell? Harry Mock was on the table. What were you doing on the table, sir? I don't know, but he was on the table for some reason. Right, okay, well, they're having fun playing over here at um, playing some foosball, which I'm happy for. I'm so glad they're having fun. Oh, I love it so much. I can't get over how odd Duncan looks, but it's kind of it's kind of fitting. It's kind of really fitting. I mean, oh geez, where did they go? Where did they go? There we go. Look at them. They're hilarious. I want to go get a screenshot of this. Ah, so that we have a memory. Oh goodness. Okay, can you irritating person get your thought bubble out of the way? Get your thought bubbles out of the way, people. I want to take some photos. Thank you. There we go. There we go. At least now we have memories. Now, all the screenshots I take, I don't know what the hell I'm going to do with them, but I just like taking screenshots. I never end up using them for, for anything. Uh, and then I delete them later on, but I just like in the moment taking photos. It's quite nice. He wants to talk to Merlin. Send a text to whoever that chick is. Talk to Vlad. Yeah, that makes sense. I put down a bunch of these things that they want to do. Like, he wants to learn bot building skill, science skill, writing skill. Now, obviously, a lot of these we won't be able to get started or um, do until we've obviously gotten the whole breeding thing started or the bloodlines part of this series started because I really want to crack down on that. But once they start having children and stuff, then I'll let them focus on themselves. So that'll be pretty cool. But okay, how you going? Pretty good. He's dancing now. He's gonna he's gonna dance a little bit. And okay then, is he wearing flip flops with his suit? Jeez, he is so weird. Who wears slippers with your with your with his suit? Nobody. Jeez. Okay. Okay then, Harry Marx. I see why Lily Bo divorced you. <laughs> oh, do you guys see this? Look, Raphael's on the table. <laughs> Oh goodness, look at him, he is so far gone, I love what he's wearing too, <laughs> he's dancing up on the table, he's having like the time of his life, oh this is too good, this is too good, and Duncan's getting an eyeful, <laughs> Duncan's like yeah, that's what life's about, dance on that table, okay, he's not in, no, psh. Duncan is not interested in any, Party dances in a skimpy made outfit. No, he's interested in these these really snazzy looking guys up on the table. Okay. Okay then. It looks like um, Ahmed Klein is also having a grand time over here behind the bar. Oh my goodness. Melon's tired from playing. He's, he's going to get a drink. And what is wrong with this trick? She keeps stepping on Harry. Actually, Harry, it's not her fault. Wear proper shoes next time. It'll probably hurt less. If you're not, you know, exposing your feet. Oh, jeez. Okay. Oh, oh. Garrett wants to slow dance with Matilda. Is she up for that? Or is she not up for that? I don't know, but he wants to slow dance with her. Oh, jeez. The music is still loud. The party is still going, as far as I'm aware. I don't think she's interested. She's getting a drink at the bar. Hmm. I'm so glad, actually, that Duncan decided to hang out. Oh no, they are having a slow dance. Okay. I am really glad that Duncan decided to hang out. 
I really thought that um, Vlad would hang out longer, but no, Vlad had to leave, but Duncan's here and he's been there for a while, so I'm really happy. But anyways guys, with that said and done, I am going to leave off here. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you all enjoyed. In my opinion, it was a pretty successful bachelor party, and I think um, I'll see you guys in my next episode. Bye bye!